1994 and again in 1995, water trapped underground inside the TNT mine in Preston County blew out the hillside above Muddy Creek, sending millions of gallons of untreated acid mine drainage into the stream and the Cheat River beyond, killing fish for 16 miles downstream and leaving Muddy Creek a lifeless orange ditch. TNT declared bankruptcy in 1995, and the DEP has been treating the discharge ever since. Now a new treatment plant is the final piece in the decades-long process to restore the Lower Cheat watershed. The DEP's Mike Huff has the details. The water leaving the new Muddy Creek treatment plant near Albright is clean and clear. It's a day that's been a long time coming. This is a huge deal. Um, TNT was the site um, that really brought Friends of the Cheat together. The blowout uh, in 94 and then again in 95 was the wake up call to this community. So to be standing here 25-ish um, years later is just amazing. I mean, I've been, frankly, I've been a little emotional just standing on the sideline, looking around at people that have been involved since day one and this is a reality. I mean, we are standing on the bank of Muddy Creek talking about trout. I mean, that's never would have thought that that was possible. So it's a huge deal. The lower three and a half miles of Muddy Creek were in declining health even before the mine blowouts of the 90s, thanks to acid mine drainage coming from higher up in the watershed, here at Martin Creek and farther upstream from Ficky Run. Above that confluence, Muddy Creek's a trout fishery, a, a healthy stream, cold water temps, trout that survive year round. So we really have this small little stretch to connect to the greater cheat. Um, and we have a lot of good um, populations of macroinvertebrates to help repopulate. So, you know, we don't want to make any promises that are too big, but in a couple years, you know, I think we'll see bugs coming back very soon and, and fish um, not too long after that. The DEP hosted a tour of the eight and a half million dollar facility recently. The plant treats water from four different acid mine drainage sources in the watershed. Incoming water is mixed with a slurry of lime and polymers. That raises the pH to neutralize the acid and causes the metals, iron, aluminum, and manganese, to settle out in these two 80 foot diameter clarifiers. The resulting sludge is pumped back into the mine or into a series of geotubes for later processing. The plant can fully treat 4,200 gallons per minute. In extreme flow events, it's capable of hydraulically passing up to 8,000 gallons a minute while still adjusting the pH to neutralize the acidity. It is uh, conveyed through pipelines and manholes and we gravity flow it down here to the new plant location. And across uh, on Route 26 here, uh, we also put in new mine seals on the Ruth Bell Preston Energy Mine complex uh, that previously had never been treated before. Um, so it's about equal flow that matches our TNT mine. Um, and it is also plumbed underneath of Route 26 and gravity flows into the treatment facility. And then upstream to the north of us on that Route 26, we have approximately 7,000 feet of force main with 10 inch HDP uh, buried line and uh, a 1300 gallon per minute pump station. So we're pumping the water uh, from two other sources on our Ficky Run and um, our Viking uh, Coal Company forfeiture site. Ficky Run is arguably the most acid impacted stream in all of West Virginia. Mining in the watershed dates all the way back to the 1800s, and many of the mines were abandoned prior to 1977 when a law was passed requiring mine operators to reclaim the sites once operations ceased. Ficky Run was the, the real deal killer there, and, and quite frankly, uh, the lion's share of all our pollution in the watershed. So we, needed, we, we knew we needed to address the Ficky Run area in order to uh, really restore Lower Muddy Creek. And that all came in when we, when we saw that, we needed to address that, we decided, well, you know, this plant can do a little bit more. We can, we can bring Ficky Run in, but we can also bring in a couple of other major bond forfeitures, you know, just by simple, you know, plumbing in to, to these, these water sources and bringing pipelines down to this major plant. And by pulling all of that acid mine drainage out of these, these headwater areas in this watershed and consolidating them here in one large plant, 
just makes that much more sense economically and, and environmentally to, to, to treat it, you know, to deal with it that way. So that's the approach we, we really took, and that, you know, that, that's what we think will, will give us that, that restorable 3.4 miles of, rec of, of, of uh, Lower Muddy Creek back to its, back to its original condition. And that's where natural gas producer Southwestern Energy comes into the picture. Southwestern provided a significant part of the funding to build the pipelines that lead to the plant. Southwestern is also contributing to the operation and maintenance costs of the plant. It's part of the company's Freshwater Neutral Initiative. The Muddy Creek facility is DEP's most ambitious acid mine drainage treatment project. And even though it's only been online for a short time, it's already showing results. And to see, you know, this, this Muddy Creek come back uh, and ultimately the, the, the main stem of the Cheat, the Cheat Canyon, it, it's huge for me. I think it's a really, really cool project. It's going to be really great for the, the economics of the area. I think the recreation industry could potentially uh, thrive again if we see uh, significant improvements in water quality. And, you know, uh, uh, it, it's really, really a, a huge project for, for water quality in Appalachia. After the pollution blowouts on TNT, the, the local community and the paddling community rallied and um, formed that, you know, a unique partnership with agencies and private business um, that we call the River of Promise. And the River of Promise was focused on the cheat. The cheat was the River of Promise. And now working up into Muddy Creek, um, again, is just something that I don't think that original group even thought was feasible. So to see those people still engaged and, and be in here today and then what is to come, I think should inspire other groups to stick with it, patience, persistence, and thinking outside of the box. Um, we don't have endless resources, so we have to use the ones we have wisely and partner and work together, and that's how we've come this far, is cooperation and collaboration, um, and big props to you know the folks that had that vision in the beginning to let us carry it through. In Preston County, I'm Mike Huff for Environment Matters. The DEP has also installed an in-stream treatment facility on Glade Run, an acid mine drainage impacted tributary of Martin Creek. When that comes online in October of this year, the restoration work on Muddy Creek will be complete.